Hi guys, it's Fallon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going against someone very similar to my size. He is 5'8", I'm 5'7 and a half. He weighs around 145, I believe, and I'm usually around 130. So a lot of you always ask me to do someone close to my weight, and this is as close as it gets at my gym. All right, so let's get started. So right away, I sit down to play guard. I do a little arm drag, but I didn't really hip escape out or anything, so I didn't get enough momentum to actually pull him close to me. So I just inverted into a straight ankle lock. So I just push my hips forward and arch my back as far as possible, and I get the tap. So now, big surprise here, I sit back to play guard. Um, for some reason, most people play top on me I'm not really sure why so it kind of made me become a guard player even though when I compete I actually always try to be on top and I never really train that so it's kind of funny how it works out so right now I'm just playing open guard I inverted that's kind of my go-to when people are trying to circle around to my head uh, it allows me to square up better and attack legs so here I'm just making sure that I have his leg off the floor so he couldn't hip escape away or anything as I kind of hip bumped on top and then dropped back to attack the leg. So there I just finished with a simple heel hook. Next you can see that I always try to isolate an arm, especially a no-gi because there's no-gi grips you can grab. And I just kind of scissored him into a sweep and I came on top. And now I'm in his half guard, so I am just really trying to apply a lot of shoulder pressure in the beginning because I'm kind of bad at that. So I've been working on actually turning their face away from me. And right away, I get the Kimura grip, which is usually my go-to for a distraction. That way I can get to mount just like I did. And if I'm not able to, I will always jump across the body and actually try to finish the Kimura, take the back, or get an arm bar. So now here I have my grapevine hooks in, as you see. And having grapevine hooks is a little different than just having mount because it controls them a little better where they can't bridge and try to push you off of them and it extends their body a little bit more and allows you to put more pressure onto them by pushing your hips directly into the center of their body, which is very uncomfortable. So now I'm really just submission hunting, so I go for the Kimura grip again, but he does a very good job at straightening his arm out, which is okay because now I can just get a straight arm lock instead. Um, oh wow, he's really fighting. So went for the Americana as well and he got out of that, but as he turned in to try to get his arm away from me, I was able to lock a triangle, which is my favorite submission here in the mounted triangle, and I finished with a straight arm lock in the mounted triangle position. So he's trying to pass my guard, and as you see right away, I always get the De La Hiva hook and I start to thread that leg all the way through in order to either get a barambolo, but he was circling around my body a lot, so I was able to actually grab the deep half and get a tabletop sweep to come on top. So now I'm the one passing guard, and I do my absolutely favorite pass since I was a weed little white belt, and it's basically just making my body weightless and pushing myself forward onto their shin, basically, and I kick my leg as high as possible to make sure that they can't grab my leg into their guard. It's a very fast paced pass, but very effective for me. And then I just went right into a straight arm bar after I got into side control and I got the submission. So now I'm the one passing again and having all of the fun. So once again, I always just try to be very weightless on my opponent. He goes right into an X guard, so I'm going to rainbow kick my leg over his guard once again and try to maintain side control. So I put my knee directly on his belly right away. He turns away and I get the gift wrap. And my favorite thing to do from the gift wrap is take the back. So as you see, I try to put my knee in the center of his spine and roll to the other side, which allows me to properly take the back. And from here, I have to automatically start attacking the neck. So as you see, I have a gable grip, rear naked choke around the neck, and a body triangle on his body just to try to make it a little bit more painful for him so he doesn't protect his neck as much. So he tries to turn to the other side, which is correct, in order to break the body triangle, but I had the rear naked choke too deep, so he ended up tapping from it. 
but he had his mind in the right place. He was doing the correct things. So now I have the back of his neck and his arm, so I throw a quick triangle onto him and I grab my shin right away to secure my triangle and I pull the head, lift my hips up, and squeeze. So I get the submission for the triangle. Next, my goal here is to get a knee slice, so I try to put my knee in the center of his sternum to apply pressure and get an underhook, but he does a good job at pushing my hips away with his knee. So I quickly go into plan B mode and put my leg near his head in order to step over and attack his legs and I go for a knee bar in this instance and get the submission right away. So now I'm passing again and I actually give my back on accident because I really wasn't paying attention to where my legs were. So I had to quickly sit back into a leg lock attack. He put his leg over his other leg to try to push my arm away. So I got a honey hole uh, heel hook attack. So next you see I secure my De La Hiva right away because it allows me to circle underneath people very easy. So in this instance, I was able to come on top because of it. And I start going to north-south. He pushes my arm, so I throw my leg over. And I didn't really know what to do here, so I locked a triangle and I started attacking the arm. And I ended up getting a straight arm lock. If you guys notice, this roll is a little bit longer than usual because my gym during the month of August does 10 minute rolls only for the entirety of the class. So that's what we're in the middle of doing right now, so pray for us. <laughs> it's kind of a bad angle, but I have a Kimura, so I jump over, stretch my arms out as far as possible so I can take the back, and I throw my leg over to try and lock a triangle just in case if I want that option, but he's fighting it very well, so I end up taking mount and throwing an arm bar, which I finish, but I went out of frame, so I apologize. So now I'm passing again and Richard is being a little bit more active this time with his open guard which I love to see. So here I kind of honestly scramble past by flipping my hips to the opposite side that I was trying to actually go and I get side control. Once again really trying to work on that shoulder pressure because I am so bad at it. As you see he was easily able to push me away and I go right onto knee on belly and start attacking a straight arm bar by throwing my leg over and trying to drop all of my weight to my left side in order to break his grip so I can finish the submission. So if you can't tell by now, I really like attacking the Kimura when I'm passing. So right away I get the Kimura grip and I push off and try to take his back once again but this time he gets to his knees so I'm a little high up which I don't like but he tries to roll which allows me to go for the arm bar by throwing my leg over his face pinching my knees together and leaning back and pushing my hips up to get the final submission of the roll today which was a straight arm bar so that's it for this week's video I hope everyone enjoyed watching and make sure you tap that like and subscribe button so I can continue making these videos for you guys I hope everyone has a fantastic week and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the mats next week.